guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to talk about beauty goals for 2018 these are my personal beauty goals i hope you'll subscribe give me a thumbs up and let's roll man number one on my list and i don't know if i can accomplish this is i want to get a new camera i have never bonded with my canon t3i i know what i want but it's really pricey so We'll see, that is a long-term goal, and I hope to achieve that this year. But that means buying less makeup, which is also one of my goals. <laughs> I think you're hearing this from every YouTuber this year. Um, I wanna use more of my stash, because I bought these things because I liked them, right? So I need to use them instead of going, eh, and using it, and then something else is out. You know how brands are starting to put out palettes and stuff every week. I also, if I ever had any money, and this is much more attainable than a nice camera, is I'd like to have my brows microbladed. I lost a lot of brow last summer when I had a major surgery. Um, the stress on my body, I lost a lot of brow. Eh. And um, I am using some brow products that help to um, regrow the hair, but it'll never be like it was 10 years ago. So I want a microblade. I think that'd be cool. One of my main goals as far as my makeup collection is to use up more of my blushes. I like to use the same ones over and over. That's not a bad thing. Maybe what I want to do is declutter most of my blushes because I have a bazillion blushes and I use the same, you know, six over and over. So maybe I would like to declutter my blushes instead of trying to use them all up. Which brings me to the whole idea of decluttering anyway. I've been, um, while I was sick, i had been spending some time decluttering my makeup collection. I really want to declutter. I want to get it down to a reasonable amount that I could actually use. And I want to use the things that I have. I don't want to feel compelled. I mean, I can't control how I feel, right? But I don't want to be compelled to buy the latest thing just because it's pretty. It's hard for me with palettes because for me, it's like opening a new box of paints and it's fresh. And the color is just so dang beautiful. I just like to look at them. I mean, like the Sephora Pro Editorial Palette, Oh, just looking at all that color, it just makes my heart skip a beat. Anyway, I want to use my favorite palettes and get rid of everything else. Just cut and there it goes. So I'm um, going to be doing some hard decluttering. And another thing that I want as far as purchasing is to buy more nice brushes. I have a bajillion MAC brushes, which they're good. They're good. They're what I want. I'm changing to synthetics and for most of what I do, a synthetic is never going to be as good as a natural bristle hair. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's just never going to be as good. I want to buy more Smith brushes. I want to buy more Eason brushes. For the kinds of formulas that are on the market now, these brushes are made for those. These are incredible brushes that will pick up pigments and deposit it in a way that older brushes just won't. So I wanna refab my brush collection. I'm a brush fanatic. I love my brushes, <laughs> like love my brushes. I can't even tell you how much I love my brushes. I'm very picky about brushes. I love my brushes. I'm gonna get some more upper end brushes this year. Um, one thing I'm gonna do in, in regards to makeup itself, not necessarily brushes, but makeup itself. I'm gonna wait more till things go on sale. When I first started in with makeup, there was never any sales. There was no Sephora friends and family. There was no VIB sale. There was no sale at Nordstrom. I mean, that was unheard of. This is just a phenomenon that's happened like the last five years. There was never a 20% off, ever, ever. There was no, no such thing as a Sephora sale. Brands, uh, you know, the brands are notorious for having these backdoor deals where they wouldn't, uh, maybe I shouldn't talk about this, but where 
they agreed with each other that makeup would never go on sale. So it never did. This is a different kind of economy, a different kind of time. And now there's a sale all the time, just about, depending on what brands you're looking at. But a lot of brands go on sale a lot. So I'm going to try to wait more for the sales to come rather than buy the thing because it's new and I have FOMO and what if it, you know, sells out and there's very few things that I really regret not purchasing. There's one. There's one. Which brings me to another thing. I don't want to buy everything just because like I have a regret over not buying something in past years. Like, for instance, the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca. I knew I wanted that palette. I wanted that palette really bad. And then I didn't buy it. I bought other junk and stuff. Other good products. And I skipped that palette because I thought, well, I might... Well, okay, we were in the process of moving. So I didn't think that I would use it enough to make it worth purchasing it. That palette haunts me. I did not buy the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette because I thought, oh, how good can it be? It's pastels. Because pastels have notoriously been low pigment and not very good on the market. Well, and then I find out that the Pastel Goth palette was incredible. And it has great pigmentation. And it is some people's favorite palette. And I'm like, Okay, that's twice I was burned by my own brain on Kat Von D. So, I have been tending to buy more of her palettes because I have FOMO and I don't want to miss one and really regret it and think about it all the time. So, but I'm, I'm vowing to myself not to do that. I'm not going to buy something just because it's from a brand that I regret that I missed the year before. You guys heard it here first. I'm listening to it now and I'm going, can I really do that? Well, yeah, I need to. And I'm going to end with this one. I made a silent vow to myself. I didn't tell anybody because, I don't know, I don't make resolutions or anything. So, because I found out when I was 11 that you'll never make those resolutions. You'll break them right away. So, why make a resolution? But I resolved never to buy another blush until I had gone through some. I made it nine days. I I made it nine days. <laughs> nine days. Nine days. Till I bought two of the Milani blushes. These are so pretty. I mean, look, they have, oh, there's two more colors. One color wasn't there. It was a berry, which you know I would love. I would love. And there was a, uh, I think it was called Coco, which is like going to be more of a contour shade for me, which I would also love. But I bought these two for so far. Because they're humongous. I mean, I'll never use them up. Can't live that long, can I? <laughs> but anyway, I made it nine days. That's a record for me. That's why I don't make resolutions. But I'm going to try not to buy any more blush except maybe the other two Milani in 2018. What are your resolutions? Go ahead and let me know below because I would love to hear them because probably some of your resolutions are ones I need to make too. So it'll open up my mind to other things. And um, if you're new here, please subscribe. Hit the like button. It's the thumbs up. And thanks for stopping by. See ya.